Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher Andrew. I'm fine. Ready. Ready, ready, ready. I'm so ready. Who are here? Y se me había atravesado un, un coso. Va, estoy bien. Ready, ready. Let's yeah. see how many we are. Oh, nice. We're 10. Okay. Vamos a ver. Adriana María. Adia, Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. Eh, David. Present teacher. Eddie Jonathan. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabricio. No. Elsa Cristina. Félix Enrique. Present teacher. Grace Michel. Yvonne Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. José Alberto. Present teacher. Nice. José Alfredo. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Yeah. Nuria, Nuria. Present, present teacher. También nombre. <ríe> Usted me faltaba. Ay, no, Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. No. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor. Claudia Guadalupe. Mauricio Emilio. Good evening, present. Okay, nice. Okay. Uh, let's see if somebody has arrived after I call you. Claudia. Me, teacher. Who's me? Ah, you Yvonne. Know. Yvonne, hasta que... I'm me... back. Hasta, hasta que la veo. Hoy va a llover. <risa> Esperemos que no. Ya va a ver la tormenta que va a caer. Ja. Es que así es. <risa> Vamos a ver. Y boom, ok. Eh, Adriana María, no, right? Ana Alicia. Elmer. Elsa Cristina. Grace Michelle. Jennifer, José Alfredo, Rebeca, Victor. Bueno, ya estamos los que estamos. Today is what day? Vamos a ver. 
who can tell me what day is today? Number six. It's day number six, exactly. And the date? The date is? September. <laughs> September 28, 28, right? About to, yes. about to finish. It closed the, the month. Por allí de, de se electrifica. Okay, a ver. Uh, today the objective is to identify the main elephant elements of the marketing mix of a renowned national product or service. And we're going to be talking about the four P's. What are the four P's in marketing? Right? There are many P's, but these are the four P's of marketing. We're going to start by discussing a couple of questions. Check what do customers want from, okay, that's from, no form. What do, what do customers want from a service or product? And how is the product you sell different from? No, señores, que hicieron el manual. You're different from somebody, right? Uh, how is the product you sell different from the products of your competition? That's if you sell a product or if you offer a service. How is the service you offer different from the service that other companies offer? Hmm? I'm going to send you to discuss. And when we come back, you're going to report your answers about that. Okay, let's see. Tom. 14, 14, hmm. okay, that's my group so far, so I don't have two small groups, right, but yeah. join a group. Try to join, join, join. Discussion questions, page 17, right? Page 17. Okay, you are. And the page 17. 17. Mm -hmm. What do customer want from a service or product? <sighs> How is the product you sell different to the products of your competition? Who are these cues? See this teacher. Mm -hmm. We're going to discuss the questions, exactly. Okay. Um, in the, the first question, I guess the all the customer want is a good ex experience when they get the, or the product or the service. 
Mm -hmm. It depends on what you're offering your company, right? Yes, but however, the the client will be like a, a good experience. Um, you're talking about what the customers want from a service or product, and how is yes. this you sell different from the products of your competition? Is it I think the customer wants uh, mm -hmm. uh, good quality and low prices. Uh, but in low prices, maybe not. Could be used competitive. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, this goes to questions. Okay. Cosa seria, va? Sí. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do customers want from a service or product? Um, I think the um, <coughs> what do customers? I think the the quality and durability. Uh -huh. Price and promotion. Price, oh. is, re price is relative. Oh. It's relative because uh, you want. Uh, Anything durability and the quality, the excellent quality and dur durability, or um, anything uh, uh, the como se dice de poca de poca durability? Como se dice que sea desechable? Discard. Mm. Discard. The product of discard. Mm. Then uh, I think the. Uh, I think the the valorate what is your necess, necessity teacher come necessity what what is your necessity I think depend the product uh, for example medicine okay. uh, all medicine is the same uh, uh, laboratories, uh, ¿cómo se diría formula o sal? The formula. The, the formula um, in my company, the different is price, offer, um, service. But in, your, in, but in the example that you case is the medicine, for example, I buy the medicine, the rest of the doctor. Yes. Yeah, and, and then the doctor is the, the com, convenience with the laboratories. Oh. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't see, see, I don't, I, I don't know if the, the medicine is an example. In this case, I I think the, the this case is for example the shoes the buy the shoes, mm -hmm. uh, it it, it uh, <coughs> the eat for example, oh, uh, no sé. Tienes razón, yo me he algún accesorio, algún accesorio. Yo, Que vos que, que... is an error uh, ah, from. from from a service from. Or product yeah okay okay what customer want okay they want uh, they want company serves a good service a good uh, a great product and, and a user, user, usable product. 
How is the product to sell different to the products of competition? So in the number two, how is uh -huh. the product you sell different to the products of your competition? Um, uh, what do you think? For my product, it can my product can be um can be a best presentation or best okay. uh, back or packet and the best uh, futures. Um, uh, for example, a new cell phone. Uh, we want to uh, we want to have we want to have a um, um, uh, very uh, very very fast function yes. and that is a futures a futures or characteristic characteristics or features or characteristic features. Mm -hmm. And for other device, uh, always we want to buy um, something that uh, can um, can use easily, easy, and not complicate. Mm -hmm. Okay. For use on use on forms, use on for and easily to use. Okay. I think um, the customer service is a uh, very important. Uh, if I. If I have, if, if I buy um, internet service, I hope the functionality all time, but the, 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 the long of the, the due or deal, deal is contrato. That I hope like customer, uh, that is I want. Uh, for example, if I want, uh, if I buy a TV, I hope the TV uh, function correctly. Function it correctly. Yes, and the the internet service is a good example about the um, the competition over the other the others. Um, how do I say proveedores? Provider. Supplier. Ah, suppliers. Uh -huh. the, other, the other suppliers is not uh, always the price. Um, the same. The customers, the customers uh, take the decision to, to make a deal with, with, a, with a supplier for the, the good service not a, is not always about the price. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How do I, how, how can I say ventaja competitiva? An advantage. Competitive advantage? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think. Competitive advantage? Yes. Now, the other question is, how is the product you sell different to the product of your composition? Mm -hmm. ¿Dónde están? Repetieron. 
teacher. Okay. The, that was the question that we are talking about. Um, eh, I, ¿Cómo me dijo ventaja competitiva? Competitive advantage. It's a competitive advantage. That we are seeing that are many price and lead times and um, customer a good customer service or or are many reasons. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, what are the things that you have that the others don't offer, right? But that are better. That make me different than the than the company than the comp competitors. Teacher, for for example, the extra that I add to my product or service. For example, uh, that it, I'm go to the product uh, to my client. So you go to what? Uh, I have a, a, my product, uh -huh. but the extra and I add uh, my product or service is a uh, I go to, um, ¿cómo se dice entregar? How do you say entregar? To hand in. To hand in the, my clients directly. Mm -hmm. For example. <clears throat> when the, I company that the client go directly the companies. Do you, do you give a, how can I say, cheaping? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. That's, that's a good point, uh, teacher. Uh, many suppliers make the difference, uh, respect the other supplier or, or their competitors about the form of buy. With shipping or without shipping, and many many suppliers sells with picking picking storage. Exactly. And all and other suppliers to make the difference sell to door door to door. Parece que le llaman. Exactly, they sell yes. door to door. Yes. And another thing is, for example, right now that people got accustomed to their product, like online right or on the phone they they want the product to be fast in the house and also that the delivery is free so if you have free delivery you can sell more products than the person who's not giving or the company that is not giving food a free delivery right are you giving free delivery? Yes. Okay. So you will sell your product more than the one that is saying, no, I cannot give the things for free. I have, you have to pay, right? But in that you have to pay, you're missing uh, people to buy your product. Because the people will go to the one that is not uh, adding cheaply, right? Or delivery in this case, if it's not that long, right? For example, uh, right now, the fashion between teenagers or young adults is getting things from China. And they, uh, there are some of them that do not charge shipping. For example, Kainao doesn't charge shipping sometimes. And the, the <clears throat> people look for that, uh, for those stores that will send the, the product that way because they won't pay shipping, right? It doesn't matter if it take longer time 
But if you won't pay extra money, they are saying like, okay, I want this one. Okay. So the preference of the customer will depend on uh, who offers the best service, the best price, and who's not adding extra money to them. So everybody wants to say it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we can leave, right? You finished. Let's go. Finish. Let's wait for everybody to come back. Mm -hmm. Everybody here? No yet. Almost. I have a commercial when everybody comes that I didn't make that commercial before <laughs> because I needed more people here. Check. I'm going to share something, to check something before. Last night, uh, you know, I told you Tuesdays, I'm going to be collecting the, the, the grades, right? And today, we got a message from the boss that asked us to remember, remind you, right? That you have to be updating the platform. And well, I collected my grades yesterday. Remember, I told you, right, that I was going to collect them yesterday. And you know very well <clears throat> that I don't collect the, the grades at midnight because I have to sleep. So <laughs> I collect the grades as soon as I finish the the meeting with the person who I am who I'm in the one-on-one -on -one reunion. As soon as I finish that, I go for the collection of the scores that you have. And you know what? Something very curious. I have zeros, lots of zeros here. I have lots of people who have not entered to the platform and not even to do one sentence. Adriana Maria has only the 20%. Adriana Sofia, zero. Nothing, Adriana Sofia. Ana is in the 80%. Claudia Guadalupe, 80%. Cruz Antonio, congratulations, you have the 100. David, you are on the 52%. Elmer Fabricio is in zero. Elsa Cristina, congratulations, you are on 100%. Felix Enrique, it's in the 80%. Then I have Grace Michelle with zero, Yvonne with zero, Jennifer zero, Jose Alfredo, 40%. Jose Roberto, congratulations, thank you very much. Uh, the same Carla Lorena and Mauricio Mili, thank you. Congratulations, you are in the 100%. Mario Ernesto is in the 80%. Nubia is in the 40%. I have Rebecca on the 88%. Rosa Hilda on the 44%. And Victor is on zero. Okay. Mm. Those are the scores. Imagine, eh, ¿qué tal que yo me quedo esperando hasta las 12 de la noche 
que terminaran de completar la plataforma y justo la gente que yo recogí a las 10 y 20 que terminé la clase con el one on one es exactamente el mismo score que está hoy, 10 horas después. Entonces, ¿Qué tal, como le digo, qué tal si yo me hubiera quedado hasta las 12 esperando que ustedes completaran lo que les faltaba? Y mira, es velado por gusto. ¿Verdad? Y este, recuerden, recuerden, y otra vez se lo recuerdo porque justo, y le voy a leer el mensaje del jefe. A mí me da pena, a mí me da pena que mis jefes me tengan que estar diciendo que les recuerde a ustedes el completar la plataforma cuando yo se los dije el primer día de clase. Y supongo que no tengo que estarlo repitiendo cada vez. Dice, estimados facilitadores, se solicita de su valiosa colaboración haciendo mención dentro de cada una de las clases asignadas de la importancia de estar al día dentro de la plataforma. Ustedes ya lo saben, ya llevamos rato acá. Entonces, no sé qué necesitan que en la presentación del día ponga a completar plataforma hoy o qué necesitan que les ponga no yo ahí voy a poner en la presentación voy a poner completar plataforma verdad todos los días porque ya vieron cuánta gente está en cero todavía y el asunto es este eh, yo no solo tengo clases con ustedes, tengo otras clases y yo se, se las expliqué. Yo entiendo que están súper ocupaditos, lo entiendo perfectamente, pero yo estoy en clase desde las 7 de la mañana hasta las 10 de la noche. Y eso implica que los ratitos libres, por ejemplo, hoy me fui a dar una caminadita porque si no, me voy a tuir, ¿verdad? Entonces... <risa> O sea, sí, yo, yo entiendo que estén ocupaditos, pero eh, un ejercicio de cinco preguntas no le lleva ni cinco minutos. ¿Ok? Y póngale que si usted entró a la clase, recibió la clase, reforzó, eh, o sea, vio el tema inmediatamente se mete a la plataforma todo lo que acabamos de estudiar usted lo tiene fresco y facilito de completar entonces ¿cuánto se va a tardar? tres minutos en hacer la plataforma entonces a mí me implica pérdida de tiempo cuando venga a recoger notas de la unidad 2 tener que estar revisando si ustedes completaron la unidad 1 y más cuando vengo a la unidad 3, que hay gente que todavía terminamos ya la unidad 3 y todavía me tiene que al fin completó la 1, pero tiene a medias la 2 y la 3 todavía nada. Y allá el último día de clase, estoy mandando mensajitos, fulanito, mire, me debe la unidad 4, me debe el examen final. Ya somos profesionales. ¿Verdad? Entonces, y perdón, pero les digo esto porque es demasiada gente la que tengo atrasado. Ya somos profesionales, estamos grandotes. Entonces, por favor, pónganse al día. Pónganse al día. ¿Sí? A mí me da pena que me tengan que estar recordando que que mi lista tiene que estar al día y que ustedes tienen que haber completado la plataforma si ya vienen conmigo desde hace ratos y ya saben que la modalidad es que el día de la clase número 5 se recogen las notas de la unidad 1 el día de la clase número 10 se recogen las notas de la unidad 2 y el día de la clase número 15 se recogen las, las notas de la unidad 3 y así cuando terminamos la unidad 4. Pues eso ya lo conocemos, ¿verdad? Y no hay más tarea extra 
que es. Entonces, es bien importante. Así, les digo, sumamente importante. Que usted me lleve la plataforma al día, porque si yo voy al día, yo no me atraso. Estoy colectando notas de todo el mundo, pero si al final a alguien no le recojo una nota atrasada, no va a ser mi culpa. ¿Ok? Por favor, pónganse al día ya, esta semana, que cuando yo venga la próxima semana a recoger notas de la unidad 2, usted esté completo. Le digo, cinco minutos, así, exagerando, cinco minutos. Es lo que se va a tratar. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? ¿De acuerdo? Chao. Uh -huh. Chao, amiga. ¿De acuerdo? ¿De acuerdo? Ya estoy cierto. Ok. Bien, teacher. Y thank you a los que van al día. Alberto, yo sé, no había podido conectarse, pero se metió un día a clase y me completó todo. Y yo lo agradezco mucho. Elsa Cristina, thank you. Ok, Carlita, tú. Mario, ¿quién es el otro? Vamos a ver. No, Cruz Antonio. Right. Sí, Mauricio. Okay. Congratulations and thank you. Los demás, pónganse las pilas. Las rayo vaca, el gato, las que quiera. A ver, vos... que tuve un problema porque no. Bueno, la 1.5 la escribí de todas formas y no, no siempre me salió correcto. ¿No estuvo en clase ayer usted? Mm. Justo. Sí, es un poco tarde. Justo ayer en clase estuvimos resolviendo ejercicios. Si no le salió bien, Me así de... Diez minutos. Así, sí, ¿verdad? Si no le Creo salió que bien... Puede ver el video de, de, de ayer en Pato, YouTube. Ahí, está. ahí la trabajamos. Ahí está, porque sí, ayer, ayer me estuvieron preguntando de, de ese ejercicio ¿no? y lo estuvimos revisando. Pero miren, chequen, si un ejercicio no le salió, no le salió, ahí déjelo, pero pásese al otro y pásese al otro y pásese al otro. Al final no, no es necesario que tenga 100. Ustedes saben que tienen que tener por lo menos 80%. Si usted tiene el 80%. Sí, yo, yo, yo hice los demás, yo tengo 80%. Me mencionó Félix. Félix, vamos a ver, Félix, si sí, tiene 80. Pero el 1.5 no hizo ninguno entonces. Yes. Sí, sí, lo hice. Solo no se los tomó por válido. 1.5 no, no me. No me. No me. Sí, no me. 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 I asked you yesterday this. Sí. Did you explain? Exactly. Vaya, fíjese que. Vamos a ver, este es el 1, 3, el 1, 5. No lo ha hecho, el 1, 5 no lo hizo. Vaya, a veces es probable que le tome uno malo pero le toma los demás buenos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, no importa que le tome uno malo, usted tírelo, ¿verdad? Si no le dan submit, le va a parecer incompleto. Eh, y cuando usted termina, si cerró y no le dio submit, lo pierde. Entonces, asegúrense de que le dan submit al ejercicio, ¿verdad? Sure. Can I uh, share my screen? Sure. Uh, well, if you see here, uh, I write the sentences in the with the capital R. Um, in the end, well, uh, here I erase uh, it. I know what's your mistake. No, it's the point. Retroceda. A ver, the manager, the manager would rather Ask relaunch. Ask a relaunch. The recreative team. No, está mala. Sí, Ask to relaunch. Sí. sí, sí está mala. Ask to relaunch. Yeah. Sí. Uh, no, está mala. Es cuestión de. Okay. 
¿Qué tiene malo? Vamos a ver. Yeah, but the, well, here I didn't write uh, to, to the creativity team. No, está mal, es cuestión de word order. Prolongs of the product of Pero es que okay. va, vaya, cheque, Mario. Ah, ya, ya, yeah, yeah, sí, sí, sí. No, va But, eh, that is not... no, pero es que no es ese el error. Usted no va a relanzar al creative team. Right? Remember, in yeah. the... If you give a different order, you will get a different meaning. Porque ahí lo que me está, me está diciendo es que al, al creative team es al que va. Right? So be careful. Watch no, the order. No. Watch the order. A ver, let's see the second. Yeah. Let's see the second. No. So, the, this, no. Well. Computers, okay, wood. Uh-huh. Move it. Move it, move it. Many distributors. Mario. Ay, no, muy rápido. <laughs> A ver. <laughs> Many distributors would rather. Ah, I, I told It's you. Would much rather. Would much rather. Remember, we were talking about that yesterday, that it has a word order mistake. So you have here, would rather much, but you don't say would rather much, you say would much rather. Yeah? Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. change the position. Would much rather. A ver, Teacher, uh -huh. uh, but in the, in the middle term, in the second part, is the same uh, uh, sentence, uh -huh. that number two, but... Yes. Uh, but that is correct. The wool rather much. Oh, vaya. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Would much, much rather. Ah. No, in, in the middle term, you can uh, put wool rather much. But that's not correct. If you if you put uh, wool much rather, that is incorrect in the middle term. Okay, thanks for letting me know because I'm going to go check and I'm going to report it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, ver, now, now I know that I'm going to change. Let's so. see the number three. They would rather, que? Withdraw. They would rather withdraw the product than, than introduce, que? Produce it. Where? Ahí le faltó. Le puso it y se comió una palabra. Ajá, ajá. In the new market. Es que ahí está. Si ustedes omiten una palabra, se la va a poner mala. ¿Qué, qué pasó ahí? They would rather withdraw. They would, ra mm -hmm. they would rather throw the product than introduce it in the new market. Points? Point. It in the punctuation. It in period. Oh, okay. That introduced Very it. Very sensible. Vaya, the thing is this checking. When you're writing a sentence in the notebook that you send it to the teacher, the teacher says like, okay, it's not a complete point, but le voy a dar 0.70, right? But when it is the platform, no, it is or it's not, right? So you have to be very careful with the punctuation and the spelling. Many companies would rather operate Premium. premium. How do you write premium? Premium. Premium. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Did you put period at the end? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Mele, right. ya ven, no me le echen culpa a la parte. Wait, wait. wait. Teacher, en, en, esa última, en esa última, teacher, sí hay un error. Vamos a ver. Many more companies. ¿Qué? Would rather become the low cost provider of a product about we did suena raro many provide many more come with a great caution rather become the low cost provider of a product rather than many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of a product Mm -hmm. ah, 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 With a great. Ah, ah. Es que ahí le falta una A. Ahí. With a great caution. Ahí. ¿Y qué le pasó a la primera? Vamos. <laughs> Would rather ask. No, es que ese es de word order. Ahí ha puesto una parte donde no va. The manager. Ask. Be, crea be creative. Ask quién. Ask quién. Ask the creative team. The, the, the same team. Ask the oh. creative team. Ask. Ajá. ¿A quién le pide eso? To the creative, creative, the creative team. team. Uh, ajá. A relaunch. Quítele el de creative team allá. <laughs> the second. Okay. A relaunch of, not to. A relaunch of, 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 of. Ah, ahí. No for. Of. Of the product. The manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. To, to design. Es que es el orden estaba hecho. The manager would rather ask. Ask. Uh -huh. No to. No to. I'll ask nunca lleva to. Ah. Ask el to design no va allí. Ask. Ask. Quítele ese design. Okay. Ask the creative team. The creative team to design. Tú, no a tú. <laughs> Quítele la A. Ajá. To design a relaunch. Ahí va la. No, allá no. You are confusing, Mario, teacher. <laughs> no. Design a relaunch. A relaunch, Mario. <laughs> a relaunch, ajá. Ahí está. Of the product. You see? <laughs> en modo espacio en algún lugar. Sí. Manager. Sí. Right. Checking. If you leave, if you leave two spaces instead of one between one word and another, it will give you a mistake. If you forget the period at the end, it will give you a mistake. Normally, it gives mistake with the contraction, but here we don't have a contraction. A ver. But, well, the manager would rather, would rather, would ask, rather ask the creative team to design 
How do you spell design? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great, Mario. Great. <laughs> Thank you. But checking. That's you it. You That's have to it. be very careful with the spelling. Lo mismo le había pasado allí a quién. ¿Quién era el otro que me estaba diciendo no me da teacher? Mi, mi, eh, mi teacher, la última no me da. Cheque, cheque, ah, a great. Ya ah, lo vi y no sé qué pasa, qué sé. Póngale ah. una A ah, antes de great. Lo que pasa es que en la oración le, le han puesto great. Y usted tiene que ponerle a great. Si no le pone la a antes de great, no lo va a pasar. La va a tomar mal. Ya vio Mario. ¿Quién era? Mario? Yeah. Sí, Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see my mistake. Cheque. Be careful. No, no se vayan corriendo. Y entómense su tiempito. Un minuto por pregunta. Cinco caballos. I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you. Checking, vaya, checking. Como es una plataforma prediseñada, entonces se da esas situaciones. Cheque siempre. Capital letter at the beginning, period at the end, watch the spelling. Eh, cuando les aparezcan ejercicios que llevan contraction, copie la que está ahí, péguela. Generalmente le gusta más la del cell phone. <ríe> no sé por qué, pero pero la del cell phone es la que, la que acepta. Entonces, lo que puede hacer es copiar la, la, del, del, las opciones que le dan o de las cositas que le da, de ahí copiar el, el apóstrofe y pegarla, porque las plana, plataformas generalmente no aceptan los, las apóstrofes de todas las demás computers. Solo la de la computer es donde se hizo. Entonces, pues como no la tenemos, ¿verdad? Entonces lo que puede hacer es copiar el apóstrofe y pegarla. Entonces, es una buena... A mí no me las acepta nunca. Tampoco, ni esas. Pero se acuerda que la vez pasada nos aceptó la del Sí, cell... las copio de ahí. Uh -huh. La del cell phone, sí, bien cabal la aceptó, no sé por qué, ¿verdad? Así es que sí, be, be, watch it, watch that, right? Be careful with that. Watch. Está fácil. Right. So, so. Pues, no, es que es solo cuestión de irle poniendo así atención a detallitos. Ya una vez ustedes se acostumbran a la plataforma y eso es a piece of cake. Vamos a ver. Mario feels like when he learned the tables. <laughs> Ay, no, no, y cuando usted está escribiendo que lo están mirando, así como que más me equivoco porque me están viendo lo que estoy escribiendo. Eso pasa. Vaya, a ver. Remember, we're talking about the four P's, right? What do customers want from a service or product? And how is the product you sell different from the products of the competition? I know here no many people have products. Some of you have services, right? What do customers want from a service or product? What do they want? Hmm? Who wants to tell me? What do customers want from a service or product? What do they want? Good services. They want a good service. Quality of product. Mm -hmm. What else? Price too. Mm. Low price. Low price. But low price, but good product, right? So it's yeah. like, <laughs> no, I want to buy, uh, to pay low price, but it doesn't matter the quality of the product. So we have like, like a balance. We want the two things. We want the lower price, but the product good too. Okay. How is the product you sell different from the products of your competition? Is your product better than the one of the competition? Uh, huh? The warranty teacher? <laughs> yes. I think that it depends. Now, your product gives a warranty. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. Delivery with uh, free shipping. Free delivery. Okay. That makes a big difference and gives a plus, right? To the, the quality and durability. Mm, okay. Durability at last more than the others. Okay. Another thing. No more. Just the time. time. Teacher. Design. Mm -hmm. The design is, is okay. Yeah. It's unique. Yeah. Victor, tell me. Yeah, teacher. Uh, many times it could be the same product or similar product, but the strategy to, se to sell that product is the different. For example, I have seen for shopping in for online shopping. Mm -hmm. For example, it's more attractive to read shipping free that $25 for shipping. And sometimes you you see in that in could be in the same platform of sales, uh that's the same product. And the difference uh, maybe is a low price, but the cheaper the shipping is a part. Uh-huh, exactly. Imagine. Um, <laughs> I want, now that you say that of the lower price, but the shipping is expensive. I wanted to yes. buy a bag that I saw in AliExpress. The bag was very cheap. It was $13 and it was a big bag with a lot of pockets, very complete. And I said, oh, I like it. That the shipping was $65. <laughs> and then I said, plus the taxes here, it would be more expensive than if I buy it here. Right? Teacher, I think the bags don't pay taxes. Taxes. I think that they don't pay taxes. The they, bags. Yes, when you ask for something or when you buy something online coming from another country you pay i don't know if they are taxes or what but the, but it's you, the pain of the product you go you go and if you're lucky too because sometimes your products are sent to aduana and then you have to pay it is about the 20 or the 18 point something percent over the price of the product and you pay that to, to Hacienda. Mm -hmm. So a part of that you have to pay for the shipping, well, for the, I don't know how you call that, but in the place you go collect the, 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 the thing, you have to pay 250 normally, right? So whatever uh, product you bring, you pay 250 for the product, for bringing it. And, if your product luckily is sent to aduanas, you have to pay the is the 18 point something, almost the 19% over the price of the product. So imagine if a product is $60, make numbers, right? Mathematicians make numbers. What is the amount of money that you have to pay? pay to Hacienda because you pay that to Hacienda ya no a correos you pay it to Hacienda right then that is taxes so you're not paying taxes over every, every product but you pay taxes if you are lucky right if you're lucky so imagine you have been asking for a product and another product many times but there is one special day when your product was sent there to aduanas, then you have to go and pay the taxes and the and the money that you have to pay to correos and the one of the taxes. Right? So that is extra. It's I, not. I, I, mm -hmm. I buy uh, toys uh -huh. for my children uh, last year uh, for like twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. And I don't pay anything. You were lucky. 
you will uh, to i i buy a um headphones but cheaper like eight dollars and two i don't pay anything and they were coming from china yes okay uh -huh, that's why that's why i tell you it's uh, you you look we have been sent to aduanas twice once uh, my daughter was asking something for a friend it was sixty dollars, and we paid about twenty fifty because of the uh, the taxes that we have to pay to 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 Hacienda, and the two fifty extra that we have to pay that is for correos, right? The normal thing that you pay to correos for for receiving your product there. But as I said, it's like, okay, it's not like every time you're going to go and pay taxes. But if you are not lucky, one day you will have to pay, right? And then the whatever product you ask for becomes kind of expensive because it is the 18 point something. And that's why I can tell you a number, right? It is the 18 point something percent over the price, right? Over the price of the product that you're asking for. I, I think that is a, a depending of the weight of a product because I always uh, buy products in, in online in sites, online sites. Mm -hmm. um, I never pay taxes. I never go to uh, Aduana to, to see my, my product. You're lucky, that's why I say, because we have gone twice. We have gone twice, but in okay, 2020, 21, 22, we have been sent twice. Anybody here? No, it was not heavy. It was not heavy. It was like a, a reproductive, it was plastic, so it was not heavy. But I don't know. I guess it's like, okay, let's send this to Aduana. Okay, you pass, you pass, you pass, go to Aduana. So it's like that. It's like when you come from the airport, right? When you come from outside the country and when you're crossing Aduana and they say like, you go, you pass there, you go, 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 go. You're lucky you enter here. So it's like the same, right? So it's at random, I think, right? I think it's random. So you you go pay, you you can live, 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 you go pay. So it's like that. So like if they were checking at random what's uh, happening, but it's not all the time. So it's not like everybody is going to be sent. Nobody would ask for anything then, right? Because that would be too expensive. But it's like at random, somebody yes, somebody no. But the advantage as, as I'm going back, as Victor Shell is that no chipping, right? So if you pay no chipping, that's something that you can get extra to your pocket, right? Okay, when let's go to the conversation. I'm not going to send you to, to the groups immediately. Now, I want to hear you the attendant teacher. Ja. Ja. Oh my goodness. Oh, mire, time is flying today. Vamos a ver. Thank you, David. Mm -hmm. A ver, Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. No here. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Ana y Ana, no here. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. Eh, David. Present teacher. Eddie Jonathan. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. Elsa Cristina. Por allí la vi que... Present, present. <laughs> Por allí la vi que está mal. <laughs> Sorry, my micro. Ok. Eh, Félix Enrique. Present teacher. I got the 100% now. 
Eso, muy bien, Félix. Grace Mitchell. Grace, 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 Grace. My Grace. No Grace today. Grace. Don't fall asleep. Okay. Um, Ibon. Ibon, Ibon. Hello. Thank you. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present okay. teacher. Alfredo. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Mario. Nubia Sulema. Present. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Eh, Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Eh, le funciona el micrófono. Mauricio. No problem, micrófono. Eh, pero mire, se puede. Mauricio. Mauricio. Present teacher. Ay, miren qué bonitos. Ah, no. Casi. <risa> teacher, perdón, yo creo que no le escuché. ¿Quién? Ivón. Ajá. Ah, sí, ya decía yo dónde está. Perdón. Y miren, yo le estoy viendo qué bonitos casi porque. Teacher, me here. Grace. Ah, sí, ya ahí estaba diciendo, no te nominan. Me too, Adriana, excelente. Yo, ya le había puesto absent, ¿por qué no la vi? Y algún día, ¿verdad? Primero Dios, van a estar todos. We're missing three people today. But I guess this is the day with more attendance than the rest of the year. Okay, well, let's read the conversation. I will need two volunteers. Tim and, Nan and Diana. Who wants to be Tim? Tim, Tim, Tim. One boy. Okay, Mauricio said me teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Y Diana, Mauricio, le vamos a dar el honor de que usted escoja a Diana. Who will be the answer? Sí. Y ahí, un montón de chicas. Who will be the uh, My friend, Rosa Elda. <laughs> Vaya, Rosy. Lucky you. Okay. Vaya, you start team. Digo, Mauricio. Team. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that warranty the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure or that they want. If you don't do this, your business will Inevitable fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to do understand the four P's. Now, second question: How will you define define the mark? How will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put in plainly. The marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Now, 
We're talking about the four P's. Which are the four P's? Which are the four P's? Who can tell me? Place, promotion, uh, plaza, promotion. Price. Price. Product. Price, product. product. And, and one more. What else? We need one more. Promotion. Price. Price. Places. 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 And the, pro the pro product. Okay, okay, very good. Bye, let's read the conversation one more time and then we will answer the question. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Let's repeat. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. Here's the, first, is question. the, Here question. Is the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? What are what the, what are the key elements, key elements that guarantee the, the success of the, of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. I think you have to, have to target your market. That is, you must decline who, define who you are selling to. That is, that is you must define who you are selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. And, and you, you need to figure, figure out what that they, they want. want. If you don't do this, if you, if don't, you do don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. Your, your business will inevitably, inevitably fail. fail. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Market. Target your market. Target market. market. And be sure to understand the four P's. And be sure to understand the four P's. Please. Now, second question. Now, now second, second question. question. How would you define the marketing mix? How, how, how would you define, define the, marketing the marketing mix? mix? Well, to put it plainly. Well, well to put it plainly. The marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time. The marketing, marketing mix is, is about putting the right product in the right place and time. With the right promotion. With the right promotion and at the right price. With the right promotion and the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. To do, to do this, this well, well, you need, you to, need know to know every aspect, every aspect of your, your business, business plan. plan. So we have the marketing mix. What is the marketing mix? Mm -hmm. What's the marketing mix? It's about, about It's what? about the four P's. It's about the four P's, right? because we have the right product, the right place, the promotion, and the price. And the time, of course, plays very, very important thing, right? Uh, a very important fact that it doesn't, it doesn't start with P, so it's not included, <laughs> right? But we're talking about product, place, promotion, and Price. And remember, you have been mentioning it's very important the type of promotions that you use when you want your product to be in the market, right? To be in the market and to be, of course, successful. No? Okay, let's see the questions. What does target your market mean? What does each of the four P stand for? 
How would you describe the term marketing mix? Bye. Hoy sí. We are ready to go to the rooms, practice the conversation, and uh, answer the questions, right? I'm going to send you, well, I'm going to make a smaller groups. You 19, 19, 19, yeah. I'm going to make one group with the trio. There you go. Practice the conversation and answer the questions. Teacher, podría darme más tiempo ni siquiera llegado a mi casa. Alfred. Sí. Okay. Try to join, try to join. Mauricio. Felix Grains, nice. That is, you must define who you are selling to, and you need to figure out that they want. If you don't do this, your business will in, in ¿cómo se pronuncia? In in inevitably. Inevitably. In inevitably. In inevitably. Fine. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Now, I think. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing? Mix. Marketing. I think you have to start your market. That is, that's it. You must define who are who you are selling to, and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will enable Inevitably fail. Inevitably. 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 That's right. Target your, oh, no, no. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four PS. Now, second question. How will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it the plain. The marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, now answer the question. Yes, now you answer the question. What does target your market mean? Um, I guess up. No, 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 no. I target your market. Um, 
Uh, you, must, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure about what they want. Repeat, please. Um, uh, define who are you selling? You are selling, sorry. <laughs> define who you are selling to, and you need to figure figure out what they want. Yeah. Oh, hmm. Estoy escribiendo al revés. <risa> es que, no sé, ahorita, teacher, estoy en que mezclo el español con el inglés y termino escribiendo bien raro. <risa> Ay, Dios. Oh, aquí está. <risa> You are selling. And we need to figure it or what they want, ¿verdad? Yes, figure out. Yes. Figure out. Figure out. We need to figure out. Okay, figure out. I see what figure out. Figure out. Okay. So, uh, in the foundation model for business businesses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just to define who you will direct to. Okay, and that's it. We finished, teacher. You finished. Okay, perfect. Easy, right? Yes. Nice, nice. Vámonos, pues. Ready. Vamos a ver. This meeting is being ready. Ready, ready. Vamos a ver. Oh, still five, four seconds. Watch. Tell me, what does target your market mean? Hmm? I think it's define you, define who you are selling to okay. and figure out what they want. Exactly, yes. Identify who are the people who will buy your product, right? And what will they buy? Uh, what about, Sorry. yeah? Sorry to interrupt you. 
uh, in the conversation in the conversation it was a word that uh, we don't know how to pronounce mm -hmm. i don't know if you can put the conversation that in vienna or face that in the end that say inevitably you inevitably inevitably okay okay inevitably fail yeah inevitably okay. fail thank you that's it all okay. thank you. a ver what does each of the four p's stand for hmm? price yeah product yeah place promotion exactly very good and how would you describe the term marketing mix? Combine that for a uh, four piece. Mm -hmm. Yes, we combine the four piece, right? And remember, they were saying we have everything right: the right product in the right place with the right promotion and the right price. Playing all the four things exactly on the same on the same direction right and then we have a marketing mix nice now teacher yeah uh, in spanish in spanish uh is there a a term for the four piece el physical el term is el mismo Son las four P's, pero en español tengo que escribirla. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. So sorry. Qué vergüenza. Bueno. Es lo mismo, las cuatro P. Sí, las cuatro P. ¿Cuál? Ajá, porque es producto. ¿ves? Ajá. Producto. Promoción, precio, pero ¿y el play? No, sí. El lugar. lugar. Lo que pasa, no, no, no. Lo que pasa es que eh, en español siempre se llaman las 4 P y se conocen así como plaza, promoción, precio y producto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, eso es lo que le iba a decir. El, el nombre no cambia, ¿verdad? Aunque place sea para lugar. Pero ahí se le pone plaza, ¿verdad, Víctor? Sí. Uh -huh. Sí, así se le conoce como plaza. Plaza, exacto. So it's, it's the same place, right? By a check. There are some factors, right? Uh, these four P's are four essential factors involved in the marketing. Yeah, marketing a good or marketing a service, right? To the public. Uh, these are the four P's, the product that can be a good or a service. The price, that is the amount of money that the customer will pay. The place is the location where you're going to market your product. And the promotion, that is how you're going to advertise your product, mm -hmm. what channels you're going to use. Now, the concept of the four piece has been, ooh, it's not new, right? It's imagine more than 50 years, well, 70 years ago, right? As the marketing industry has been evolving, the, uh, the concepts go evolving too. Before they were talking about people, process, and physical evidence, right? Now it, we include people, but not in the same way, right? The process and the physical evidence become important, but uh, for making the marketing of the product. Right, and then we have the product is like the most important thing. We can say, Kerati. the product that is the most important thing. The price, remember the right price with the right product. So you can have a, a good product, but if it is too expensive, if it doesn't have the right price, it doesn't matter if you go to the right place to sell it, but you won't sell it if the price is too expensive. And if you don't have sure. given, right? Mm -hmm. In the price, 
you to put the payment method? Yes. Remember when we were making the, the idea of the product, we didn't get to the end where you have to make the numbers of every, we calculated the price, right? But we were not giving the, what is the amount of profit that you want to get from the product, right? Because that has to be involved in the, well, yeah, we were mentioning that, right? When we were saying, uh, all the the raw material that you buy. I remember thinking about the raw material, the people who are going to work to make that product, right? Also, the profit that you want to make. All that has to be. Uh, there is a formula to do, and then you get the price, right? Because at the end the customer will pay what you tell them, unless you are in the central of San Salvador, when people are going to get for a discount, right? We Salvadorians are very good at asking for discounts, but if you are in the right location, right, in the right place, where people are not going to ask for a discount, and you're making the right promotion, then you have that very complete marketing mix, right? That all has to be like, so you can have one very good product, but if the place is not very good, the price will not be the same as if you have a very, a, a place where the people will pay more, yeah? So it doesn't matter if the quality of the product that you have in one place is the same as the quality of the product in the other place. I don't want to say name of places because it will tell me to you, Chirp Calipasa. No, right? But you know that there are some areas and some places, some locations where people pay more, right? So the price will depend also on that, not just on the cost of the product, right? But also on the place where you are and on the promotion that you make, yeah? That's why we have the four piece, everything is very important. So you want to get all the mix, right? And check this, let's move it in the marketing mix, we have the product. You have to worry with the product. You have to worry about the functions, the appearance, the quality of the of the fissures that you have. So it's not like, okay, my product has a, a lot of fissures, but do they work really, right? So what is the quality of the fissures? The packaging, you know, even the packaging sells right, and can uh, make your product become more expensive or less expensive, right? The packaging, the brand of the product, you know that the brand sell, right? And the brands pay too. The service, the support that you give to the product, the size of the product, the durability, the warranty, the returns, and the variety, all the things are to be considered related to the product, right? Then you go for the promotion. And what is the promotion? What is the brand ambassador? So you need a, a, a person who's going to be in all the advertisements, right? If you notice uh, those very famous products that we have been talking about here, like Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola. The, they have they have as a brand amb ambassador ambassador a famous person right because the children or the teenagers see Messi and they say ah, I want that because Messi drinks that right if no you will remember what happens mm, I don't know, it was a couple of years ago when there was a, this famous soccer player in an interview. 
He was sitting in front of everybody interviewing him. They put a glass of, well, a bottle of Coca-Cola and a bottle of water. And he said, no, I prefer the water. What happened? There's the market of the Coca-Cola. Down. The market of the water went up. Why? Because a brand ambassador was saying that he preferred one product over the other, right? And that is part of the promotion. So if you have the ambassador, so that person who's admired by everybody selling your product, you have a very good promotion, right? You will have very good results. The advertising, where are you going to advertise your product on television? on the radio, newspaper, if you're going to make flyers, social media right now, social media is the best thing for making sellings, right? Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. So you can make a, a good promotion there in all social media, right? I don't know if you see a, well in your, even in your email address, you get promotions of different things, right? So the advertising is something very important part of the promotion, the personal selling, the public relations. In here, we will put also the customer service, right? If the people are happy with your product, they will tell the others that your product is the best. See? The budget. So when we talk about budget in this case, it's like, do you have enough money to spend in the promotions that you need to make and you need, you need to run, right? No, no, the budget of the product on the elaboration of the product, that's another thing. Here is the budget for the advertising of, and for the promotion, communication, right? Are you open to communicate with the customers and let them know all the necessary aspects they need to know about the product? Okay, so all that is part of the promotion. And then you have the place, the channel members, right? Which are the channels where you're selling your product? motivation, right? The channel motivation, are they motivated? I don't know if you, but I'm very, very snoopy, right? When I go to the supermarket, I pay attention to the brands that you have in the supermarket. And to see, there are always a couple of girls trying to organize their products. Some of them are just there doing nothing, just watching. While there are others putting their products at the front, putting their products on a space where everybody can see them and making people see their product and that the product look attractive. They go with a, something or they make something to, to attract people to buy the product. Today, I almost okay. buy okay. ah, two packets of salchichas. I said too much. I bought only one, but I was going to buy those two because they had a spoon extra. Right? So that's part of the promotion, right? So that's part of the, of the promotion. And then, we have the market coverage, the locations, the logistics, and that's part of the logistic is how you organize your product in the place, right? The labels, what are the service labels? All those aspects, and then the price. Have you noticed that, well, there is a supermarket where in the past, they didn't put the price of the products and it was like, uh -huh, and how much is it? You don't buy something that you don't know the price, right? 
But now they learn that here in El Salvador, I don't know if in Guatemala or in other places, the people buy a product without knowing the price, but not here, right? One of the first things we, we see in a product is the price. So you have the list of prices, very, very important. If it has discounts, what are the allowances that you have, the financing, the schemes, credit terms, like for example, if you're going for a refrigerator, what are the credit terms that you can find to buy that? And what are the payment options that you may have, credit, debit, cash, right? So these are the market, that combines the marketing mix. But you see, each of these pieces includes a lot of extra characteristics, right? Now, check. These four marketing pieces uh, are a model of enhancing the components of the marketing mix, right? And that's how we take a new product or a new service, how we adapt to the new product. If probably we were using one product, but the other one is offering better price, better promotion, they are in the right place where you can go buy or where you regularly go shopping. And it's the perfect product for you. So that's a combination, right, for a marketing mix. Now, going back to these words, what, I, what you're going to do right now is go read and let me see. No, we don't have much time. We will do that tomorrow. Let's go to the, to the vocabulary here. Mix, marketing mix. What you're going to do is match. Now you know the, all the definition, what they do and how they work and everything. So look at that definitions. Match the vocabulary with the correct definition, right? So you have product, price, place, promotion. So check the order, right? You have number one, the activities that make the product available to customers, the activities that communicate the product's features and benefits that help persuade customers to purchase the product, the amount of money paid by customers to purchase the product, and the merchandise or services offered by a company to its customers. Mm-hmm. What is the first one? The activities that make the product available to customers. Promotion. Place. Hmm? Promotion. Price. <laughs> Products. Ah. Promotion. Okay. The place. The activities that make the product available to customers. Please, please. Sorry. Let's go for the second one. Now. The activities that communicate the product's features and benefits that help persuade customers to purchase the product. Promotion. 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 Okay. That's promotion. Yeah. You communicate through different ways, we said, right? The price. Uh -huh. The amount of money paid by customers to purchase the product. Product. Hmm? Price. 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 That's the price, the amount of money that you pay, right, for a product. The merchandise Glasses. services offered product. by a company to its customers. Product. 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 Exactly. So the first one is? Place. 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 That's place. Right. Yeah, when we say something is available, mm, because it exists, because it is near me, because I can go buy it anytime I need it. 
I wish I had a, a, a store available near my house. But no, there is no store, so I have to walk a little bit. Right? So that's the activity that makes the product near you, right? We can say that will be the place. Now here, what we're going to do, we continue talking about the four P's. Uh, the four P's has its own tools to contribute, right? To the marketing mix. The following words have to do with these tools. Remember, we were already talking about many of them when I explained to you about the marketing mix. What you're going to do is classify them into the right P. So you have product, price, place, promotion. And the words that you're going to classify, of course, design, personal selling, discounts, and plans, public relations, credit plans, advertising, inventory, brand name, and transportation. Just refresh your mind, right? Of what we were talking about before and complete the, the chart. I'm going to give you about, um, yeah, I can give you eight minutes there for you to, for you to work and complete it. A ver, groups, bigger groups. There you go. Some groups of three, some groups of four. A minute, so we have a couple more to check, right? Um, completed. Uh, Can you share a screen? Yes. Oh no. Puedo compartir de aquí. No sé si usted puede. Okay. Manuel. Maybe. Grace, are you there? No stack race and chill. Design. Design is for product. Uh, and product uh, design brown name. Yeah, brown name. Uh, Yes, yes, we need to order the words and we need to save our product price, place or promotion. I don't know if I understand. Yes. Okay. Uh, the design. I think it's promotion. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's a uh, product. product. It uh -huh. can be product. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, product. The second one, discount, price. Price. Okay. Uh, no, no. I maybe, think it's from maybe promotion. promotion. Uh, uh, no? Maybe promotion. It's promotion. Okay. We pay location. 
Location. Place. Place. <laughs> Promotion. Promotion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Advertising can be promotion too. Promotion. Oh, and the brand name can be proved. Yes. Personal selling. Promotion, Creria. Mm, okay, promotion. Payment plans. Payment plans. Credit terms. And promotion. Personal and selling. No, pre, pre, co, completemos all, all day. Okay. Price, product, now price. Payment plan. Um, credit term. Discount. And use that. Discount. Yes. Um, place will be personal selling. I just share the, the, the screen. Okay, okay, the product okay. is design, packaging, inventory. Next and the next payment, payment mm -hmm. plan. Mm -hmm. I think no, payment plans. It's a price, no product for me. No, the in, in, in price. Ah, okay. Let's, mm -hmm. um, credit terms. Okay. Uh -huh. 
and discount. 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 Yeah, the discount is part of the price, right? The better. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Um, in place? In the place. It's, um, For me, retail personal. location? Retail location? Yes. Retail location. Um, personal selling. Okay. And transportation. Public relation, rela relation. Promotion. Place uh, could be transportation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I in the place. Uh, is a uh, personal selling and uh, transportation. Yes. Okay. In the promotion, is a, a design, discount, personal selling, packaging, and pen and plants. Ad uh, ad terms, advertising. Entering, Apportation. Advertising. Brand name. Uh, advertising. Advertising. Brand name. Brand name. Brand name. And use that, I guess. Public relation. Public relation. Okay. Attention, brand, public relation, yes, and or the location. Yes, again. Okay. okay. That's it? Yes. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, it's been. We don't teacher. Excellent. Very good. You are screen, Carla? Yes. Okay. Take a screen. Hello. <laughs> I always I always return mute. <laughs> okay. Ready. A ver, I'm going to let you now. I'm going to let one of you to share the screen the screen and share your answers with the rest. Para cambiar. <laughs> que compartamos. Sí, one volunteer to share. Okay, we are going to, we are going to share. I work like Jose Alberto, but my computer was don't love. So this is, this is the chair. Are you watching my screen? Sure. Okay, this is the order in that we sort each, each one of the words mm -hmm. for each one term, for each one P. Product uh, with products, we, we put packing, design, and inventory. For price, uh, we order discount, payment plan, and credit terms. For place, uh, we saw retail location, brand name, and transportation. 
E for promotion, we put uh, the word public relation, personal selling, and advertising. Okay, yeah. That's all. Nice, nice. Do you all agree or you want to change something? Uh, change, 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 Discounting promotion. Retail location. Discounts. In promotion. Because is is how you sell your product. Mm. Promotion. No, the discounts go in the plate in the price. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. Because remember, here the promotion we're not talking about the key. Like I'm going to give you a t-shirt if you buy my product. It's in the in the way of how you will advertise and all the things that you will use to advertise and to promote it in product so people get to know that you exist, right? Because that's the first thing, make people know that you exist. And in the product, you are creating a necessity, creating sometimes, right? Because for example, when they make us believe that we need a new phone every year, that's a necessity that is created, right? When we know that we have to eat, because if not we die, that's a necessity that we have, right? It's not creative. But if, if they tell us you need to change your phone every year because if no, you're out of fashion, that's a creative necessity, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is part of the, of the promotion. In that part of the promotion is where they will create that necessity on people so you will buy it or not. Right, and in the discount in price, because at the end, it's the amount of money that you will pay, right? Any other question? No question? No, vamos, no, chaps. <laughs> that, that's the question. Can we leave now, teacher? I'm with you. <laughs> Can we leave now, teacher? Oh, today is... Day number six, Eddie is staying. Bye, Adriana, Maria. I'm present. I'm here. Okay. Adriana, Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Ana, 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 Ana. No hay Ana. Cruz. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eddie. Elmer. Elsa Cristina. Present. Eh, Felix. Enrique. I'm here. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Grace, buen provecho. Ivonne Marcela. Ivonne. Yvonne, Yvonne, Yvonne. Present. Jennifer. Jennifer. Present teacher. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Alfredo. Hoy sí llegó Jose Alfredo. Recién acabo de llegar. Oh my God. <laughs> Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Te durmió Mario. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh... <laughs> Se durmió Mario. No, no. Okay, Nubia Zulema. 
Present teacher. Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present. Present. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Mauricio. Good night, teacher. Good night. Well, see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. Night, night. Bye, bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye. Bless you. Good night. See you. See you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night.